Hello, and thank you for your interest in the University of Waterloo Faculty of Engineering. My name is Sarah Landy, and I am the Faculty Manager of Graduate Operations. I'd like to start you off with some interesting facts about the Faculty of Engineering here at the University of Waterloo. We have over 2,000 graduate students, supported by 240 plus staff members and 340 faculty members. In 2019-2020, we brought in over $86 million in sponsored research funds and had over $2 million in major awards held by our graduate students. We have 10 NSERC Design and Industrial Research Chairs, and we are ranked the number one top research university in Canada. The University of Waterloo is ideally situated in the Waterloo-Toronto Corridor, which has the largest concentration of technology companies and startup activity in Canada. Our faculty has eight departments with 37 graduate degree programs and over 40 areas of research. Our department and academic units include chemical engineering, civil and environmental engineering, electrical and computer engineering, management sciences, mechanical and mechatronics engineering, and systems design engineering. We also have two professional master's programs offered by the Conrad School of Entrepreneurship and Business and the School of Architecture. I would now like to tell you a bit more about our programs. So, did you know, for exceptional students, direct entry to the PhD program is permitted. You can also transfer to the PhD program without completing your master's degree. Additionally, you can transfer from the MEng to the MASC program if you have a supervisor. And for research-based students, there is guaranteed minimum funding. There is often confusion from applicants on the difference between our two master's programs. Our course-based master's, which is our MEng or MMSC, is a self-funded program where students complete eight to nine courses over the course of their degree. You do not need a supervisor to apply or be accepted into the program. As I mentioned previously, students in the MEng program are eligible to transfer into the research-based master's program if they identify a supervisor. Graduates from our course-based programs typically go on to careers in industry or to create a startup. Our research-based master's, on the other hand, is a fully funded program where students complete four to five courses as well as an original thesis. You do not need a supervisor to apply, but you do need one to be accepted into the program. Students in the MASC program are eligible to transfer directly into the PhD program. Graduates from our research-based programs typically go on to careers in industry, academia, or to create a startup. Now on to funding and awards. Students in our research-based programs receive a guaranteed minimum funding. MASC students are guaranteed a minimum funding of $18,000 per year, and a PhD student is guaranteed a minimum of $24,000 per year, all of which is tax-free. Additionally, students may hold an optional TA ship, which is valued at around $4,400 per term based on a 10 hour per week assignment. The University of Waterloo has many awards for domestic and international students, as well as MASC and PhD students. You can check out our awards database listed on the screen for a comprehensive list of all our awards. With the various tri-agency competitions getting underway, I would be remiss if I didn't also mention that the University of Waterloo offers a 10 to $20,000 per year top up to anyone who receives a tri-agency award. Tri-agency competition deadlines are noted on the right hand of this slide. Additionally, the Faculty of Engineering offers a number of additional funding opportunities which all domestic applicants are automatically considered for. No additional application required. We offer $5,000 entrance awards to all top domestic students, as well as special awards for students researching in the area of advanced manufacturing. Also, there are a number of full ride fellowships valued at between $25,000 and $40,000 per year for top domestic MASC and PhD applicants. So what makes a good application? Preparation is key. For research-based applicants, finding a supervisor can be the hardest part of the process. As I said previously, you don't need a supervisor to apply, but you do need one to be accepted into a research-based program. You should know what kind of research you're interested in and research faculty members whose research interests align with your own. Begin contacting faculty members as soon as you reply. The earlier, the better. 
complete our contact a faculty member online form, and if possible, arrange to meet with a faculty member via video or phone call. Many applicants also underestimate the importance of a good reference. Check with your referee in advance to make sure that they will be willing to provide you with a good reference and have the time to do so. Choose individuals who know your skills and experience and who can clearly communicate your ability to succeed as a graduate student. Give your referees lots of notice. Academic references should be someone who has an academic appointment and has taught you a course or supervised your research and can attest your academic performance. Professional references should be someone who has supervised you and can attest to your skills and experience for the program you are applying for. You should start applying well in advance of the application deadline. Good applications are detailed, without error, they show evidence of researching the program of interest, they have up-to-date information, and spelling and grammar are so important. Applications that stand out are complete, well-written, with strong references. So I'm sure you're all wondering, how do I apply? First, you should explore the various programs we offer on our website. Once you've identified a program or programs that you're interested in, you should review the application requirements, including any documents required for admission. If you're applying to a research-based program, begin to prepare to contact prospective supervisors. All applicants need to complete our online application form, and following that, you will need to upload any supporting documents required by your program, such as transcripts, resumes, and supplementary information forms. So I know you're all dying to learn more. So please join us on October 20th and 21st for our departmental Ask Me Anything events. You can check out the schedule and register for the event at uwaterloo.ca slash engineering slash future graduate students. Thank you again for joining us and we look forward to meeting you and answering your questions.